In our last episode of Mastering Town Hall 9, we showed you the struggles that we had, but how well we did in CWL as an all Town Hall 9 clan. But today, I have to first show you my party king, and then get into some drags at Town Hall 9. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to the channel for another episode of Mastering Town Hall 9 where I focus on Town Hall 9 strategies, fun, education, and did I say just having some fun here with my editor G. Now you notice I am on my Town Hall 13 right now. I wanted to show you guys the party king that we grabbed but also remind you to use code Echo whenever you are purchasing anything in the shop, gems, your gold pass, whatever you want to do. Remember to use code ECHO. And here we are back on the Town Hall 9 with 79 more wall pieces to do. We've trained up some Zap Dragon, which is something that I really have not done yet at Town Hall 9 because I just got my lightning spells up to the proper level. We got ourselves another gem box. If you guys think back, we just got a gem box in the previous episode of Mastering Town Hall 9. So it looks like we are on Supercell's good side and we are going to be collecting those gems to buy more hero skins possibly. Thank you very much Supercell, we're going to collect this as well. I want to switch over to my progress base just so that we can, uh oh, something's in the way. It looks like we have to go on the hunt for what is in the way. Could it possibly be this anniversary cake? It possibly could, but while we're getting rid of that, let's take a look at the army that I have trained up. We're going in with eight dragons. Two baby dragons for funneling and eight balloons. And if we take a look at the actual composition, we are trying to train this up with eight lightning spells, one haste spell. Now, I like to try and grab myself an extra haste spell in the clan castle. Looks like I don't have it though. So we're gonna have to go in farming with this. We're gonna use one of our potions here. Let's go to a magic item, use the training potion right now so that we'll be ready to go and maybe you get a couple of hits in in this video. So while we're looking for our first base, guys, first of all, I wanna thank you for coming through, remind you to subscribe to the channel for daily clash videos and it's time that we look at some of your comments because you've been commenting. I think I found a base here, guys, that we could take down with the zap. I'm going to use four lightning spells on the queen and then I'm going to put four on another air defense, try and snipe out some air defenses with my heroes. So let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four. That's gonna hit the queen and that there. So that worked out well. I'm gonna go here, one, two, three, four. That's gonna take out those defenses. Now I'm gonna suey my heroes in and see if I can actually get them to go in the proper direction. If I get one air defense, I'm a happy guy. I'll feel good about it, but let's see. Maybe we can even get two. We got the queen stepping on up. The king is doing a decent job as well. Here goes one air defense, take it and taken down. The queen's gonna step up, take the archer tower. I'm popping the king to try and path the queen so that she goes upward. Let's see if she actually does though. She is going up, that's perfect, that is perfect. I'm happy with this so far. We're gonna have to pop her ability. She's being attacked by that cannon. Oh, she's going for the cannon. Will she go up for the air defense next? It, she will, but will there be enough in her tank to get it done? No, she's not gonna have enough. Oh, one. Just one shot. She one-shotted it. It's all good. We're going with a baby dragon here. We're gonna be setting the funnel and we are gonna put all of our dragons and loons into this base. I think we have a good chance here of, of pulling in what we need for the for the three star. We're gonna we're gonna have to see. Balloons in behind. And now remember we have one haste spell, right? Now I'm gonna go with these CC balloon and dragons too. We're gonna haste everything in right here, trying to get the dragons going a little ham, the balloons to get themselves on top of that air defense. Nothing in the clan castle either. Now, we have a lot of troops all close together fighting the sweepers. Air defense is gonna go down to that dragon eventually. There we go. But now there's a lot of sweepers to fight. Teslas are gonna be going ham on our troops. We took out all the air defenses, but there are still air targeting defenses in the base. And with the sweeper continuously pushing me back, it can get hard. Gee, looking at it right now, do you think I can get this done? He never has faith in me, guys. Never. But I know that you guys do. Give me a little bit of faith, a little bit of hope with a thumbs up on the video. Keeping Clash of Clans alive with content that doesn't suck here on YouTube, guys. Let's get it done. Looks like there's only two Archer Towers left. That's it. 
There's two expos on ground. Don't ever do that. Oh, there's a wizard tower too. And then there's some cannons and a bomb tower which could do nothing. This is gonna be a triple. While you watch this triple, let me show you the pizza that Brody made for me. What a delicious, we have pepperoni, we have peppers, and we have some mushrooms. What kind of pizza is your favorite and how many slices of pizza can you eat? No, we're looking at a time fail. Oh my goodness, these dragons are not gonna be able to get enough of this based on that barrack. Oh my God, will they get it? 20 seconds left, come on dragons. 18, 17, it's a 99%, come on, let's go, get it done. They are the slowest beasts in the world. 10, nine, they, they, I think I can get it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, what? Told you we'd get it. We got it, but that was close. Zap drag worked, we gotta try it again. Let's get some more CC troops right now because hopefully we got someone from the clan that's on. Let's see. Get me some troops, guys. If not, I may need to bring over my main account. Oh, yeah. Here comes a dragon. Thank you so much, Karthik. I appreciate it. And now if you take a look here, guys, I'll show you what's going on in the lab. We're doing the wall breaker right now. Goblins, barbarians, archers are left to go. Earthquake, which really doesn't matter, honestly. It doesn't matter how much you do. Hay spells, minions and Valkyries. Then all the research is gonna be done. All that we're gonna have left is wall, so I may actually go to Town Hall 10. I don't know, what do you guys think? Once the research is done, should we go to Town Hall 10 right away? Because we're gonna be doing more wall here today. So let's go ahead, pull this one out. That's gonna be our starter. We're gonna select this row, try and get a decent number done. That's six wall pieces right there. But first, we need to go in another attack, and it looks like we've got some rewards over here. Remember, this is a free-to-play account, and we're not going in and spending using code ECHO to get any extra rewards. But we do get a training potion, that's cool. So we, we get some stuff. We never get a ton, but we do get some. First of all, how much pizza can you eat? Why didn't you let me know down below? There's no reason for it. Let me know. Pizza. Hey, Mordecai. Oh, uh, what? Do you think I'm dumb? Yes. I thought so, I was just checking. Wow, and we got loot right here. Now the thing is, the air defenses are low. So I'm gonna again try and zap that air defense out by the queen. There's upward facing expos though, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna try and take out the sweeper as well with the lightning spells. We're gonna go with four right here. One, two, three, four. Got all that out and we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with this one right here. One, two, three, four. Got it, all right. So we beat up on some stuff that worked out okay. We're gonna go with our king up here and our queen down here. I don't think I trained up troops for my next attack. Oh no, well that stinks. I really wish I did so that we would be ready to go and I wouldn't have to wait. That's what the whole purpose of the training potion is. Come on, man. Messing myself up here, guys. All right, this queen, I'm not popping the king yet because I want the queen to take out that archer tower first before he goes, okay, we gotta do it now. Popping the king, queen goes and uh, is now gonna be able to step up, take out that final air defense, I hope. Let's get it done, girl. She's kind of slow. You know, she's only a level 18. We gotta get her to 20 soon. All right, there goes another air defense, which is great. Baby dragon right here. We're gonna go, oh, that queen, she's actually doing some good work. We're gonna go with a dragon here. Uh, another baby dragon here. Two balloons to check for air mines, and now we're storming the base. This is actually a town all 10. I didn't even realize that. Okay, and then we're gonna go with the CC dragons from the corner right here. We are going to haste everything into the base right there. Let's get these balloons on top of that final air defense. Now, I said it's a Town Hall 10, but it's a Town Hall 10 with no Infernos. That's rushed, of course. We're going to go push even faster in through the base with these haste spells, trying to clear out that Expo. Can we get it out of there? Yes, we did. Now the dragons are pathing through into these lower level Tesla. They're not so scary. Lots of dragons in the core of the base. Queen went down, balloons are still pathing on through, only two wizard towers and an archer tower can stop us, and it looks like, guys, we got ourselves another triple on the attack. My oh, man. You know, he never believes in me, but we're buddies. I mean, he does make my videos look OP anyways. So there we go, guys. This is how our drags happen. Now this base, of course, was a little bit light. It wasn't the strongest one, but it's still cool. It had a ton of loot in it, which you're gonna see because we are on the wall grind. Plus we're on that hero grind as well. Plus we're on not only the hero grind, not only the wall grind, we're also on the uh, the upgrade grind. So lots of grinding going on. You know, I can't go to Town Hall 10 with low heroes. I gotta get the max before I go. It's like, 
Clash of Clans 101, the basics of Clash. Well, it looks like I actually did train up an army, so uh, yeah. Let's go over to the war and see an OP attack that my boys in Scrappy Nines did, and then we're gonna come back and do one more Zap Dragon attack. And you know what? I had to choose this one because this one has 17 party wizards. Now, I'm not sure if the party wizards are still gonna be hanging around for the party when the video does release. But let me know down below, did you guys utilize the party wizards when they were in the game? Did you get those rewards? Were you able to take advantage of these better than wizards wizards? Because they are better than wizards. And I know that you guys already know that, which is why they are the party wizards. But check out this attack. It's literally a whole bunch of wizards or party wizards coming in behind golem. So it's like an avalanche. It's basically an avalanche attack, but all the golem are dropped in early. Now in the clan castle, what do we have? Do we have more, another golem, more party wizards, or more hog riders? Let's see, this queen finally popping that clan castle lava hound. She's actually pretty safe. The hound is attacking the king and the golem. Poison spell was dropped as well to clear all that up, so no problems there. Party wizards are going ham on the outside of the base. Hog riders are coming in, and it looks like those were CC hog riders. Clan castle hogs coming on in. Only one heal spell in the composition to pull this thing through. The queen's going to be able to take this jump. She's going to be able to get in there behind the golem. Hog riders are hopefully going to be tanked by that golem as well. Looks like they are at least. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Come on, queen. Get your job done. There we are. Queen's taking out that wizard tower. Only one point defense left. It looks like so pro they go uh-oh. I kind of love that name. So pro they go uh-oh. What a cool name. Well, I haven't seen this person in the clan before. Maybe they're new to the clan family. Maybe this is their first triple ever. But I doubt it because this attack was executed really well. Uh, nicely done, man. Nicely done. 15 seconds left and we can watch the final party wizard over here just look like a boss and clean up the base so fast. So fun. With an archer back it up. Same speed as the archer, too. So, you know, that's really what it is. Faster. And cooler looking. Party wizards. But I'm gonna actually try doing the attack with no clan castle troops. We're gonna try and find a base, go in, attack it with no CC troops, just the dragons, the lightning, and the heroes, because everything is ready because of my training potion. Let's see what I can find. Well, I'll tell you what, this base is not a good base. Super spread out, really just not a good base, but I'm gonna attack it because I'm going in without the extra spell and without the extra dragon and loons. Plus, I could zap out this queen, which I'm gonna try and do right here. So we're gonna go hit this queen as soon as she turns the corner, and that's gonna be right here, one, two, three, four. We got that, we got the air defense out too. We're gonna go right here, one, two, three, four. That's gonna take out that and that, and now we are gonna try baby dragon in here. I'm gonna send the king in here, and then we'll send the queen. I want that queen to go for this air defense. Then I can send, oh, the queen actually went down. That queen went down because it was such a low level queen. Uh, that's pretty cool, actually. I was not expecting that to happen. So our queen takes out an air defense. Now we can send a baby dragon over here. We can send one dragon over here. And I'm going to just pop in all the dragons, all of these, right there. We're going to try and zip into this air defense. We have only the one haste spell. They're going in to take out the one solo air defense that's kind of threatening, although it was low level. I got the dragons along the outside, trying to clear out everything inside the base. The bows are set on ground. Everything is going... Honestly, guys, the base doesn't have much in it that can hurt the attack. I'm going to pop the queen, see what she could do in the meantime. She's going to try and pop through some wall. No, she's not. She's going for that Tesla over there. The balloons are pathing through in, in beautiful fashion. They just look gorgeous as they go through the base. What does a gorgeous balloon actually look like, though? Going against a, a baby nine, a town hall nine that's not upgraded. But I did this because I wanted the loot. The loot was decent inside the base. And on top of that, my screen just flickered. That's weird. Don't know why it happened. I don't know if you guys caught it in my, my mini cam, but it happened. So I went after this base because of the loot and because it would be an easy three star and because I didn't have clan castle troops. Genius minds. Attack smart, practice your strategies. That's how you're gonna zap drag, but we need to do some wall upgrades. We're also gonna get a seventh piece of wall, put it over here, and we're gonna do all of these pieces here together. So let's select it. We're gonna go, yes, I do wanna upgrade it. Yes, I do wanna upgrade it. Yes, we do want to upgrade it. Now we have seven more wall pieces maxed level. I could probably fit all of these. Let's see. Let's see if my... Nope. 
There we go. Four right there. And then these last three, we could kind of put them together, select the row, and bring them all over to the other side. Let me fix the ticker. We need the numbers to be right. 72 more pieces to go. And you know what else, guys? We're upgrading the queen to level 19, which is almost 20, which then is almost 30, which is max. This isn't going to take us very long. Yes, we're going to end our boost. Booyah, the queen is down. And if we could ever get the king down again too, we definitely will. But also worth noting here, guys, in less than a day, the wall breaker upgrade is going to be done and we're going to have to do something else. Now that I've just expended my dark elixir, which could have been for Valkyries or for minions, instead, I'm probably going to go with goblins, barbarians, or archers. Let me know down below which one you think I should use or do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Mastering Town Hall 9 is in the books. Let me know if you want more Mastering Town Hall 9 or if you're excited for me to turn this into Mastering Town Hall 10, which we're going to be able to do sooner than later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you want to support me, you could use code ECHO or even more, you can become a member on my channel. There are multiple membership tiers that you guys could check out from $2 to $25, giving you a bunch of different awards. Check them out via the link in the description of this video if you want to support me on another level. Echo fam for life. Have a great day, guys. Check out these videos before you go. Remember to be safe and be good.